All right, now the last song you're going to do, um, tell us the title. A Long Day Into the Night. Okay, and... Uh, what it's based on, my degree is in acting, theater, mm -hmm. um, and I, I try to do both. It's kind of difficult. Everybody told me not to, and I didn't listen, and mm -hmm. <laughs> it's difficult to do music and theater separately. But um, I'm really influenced by plays that I'm reading or that I'm working on, and this is A Long Day's Journey Into the Night. It was written by Eugene O'Neill. Mm -hmm. He asked it not to be published until after his... He passed away, because it's a true story about his family. Mm -hmm. um, and this is really the mother's point of view, who is a morphine addict. And mm. through the, the play, she, they're celebrating that she's come back, you know, morphine-free, and she keeps going upstairs and mm. doing a little bit of morphine and coming back down while the, the three men are just getting drunk. Mm. So it's, it's a very sad story, but it, it ends with her in this, you know, childlike euphoria, even though it's just a sad, sad reason. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is based okay. on.
Super. Thank now, you. when you were playing that song, I sensed a very close connection to that song. Yeah, I, you know, I had one to that character, and I've never done morphine. I've never... So mm. I'm not sure why. Just something... I, there's just a, a real isolation to her, and I don't eat, I connected to that, even though mm. I don't think I experienced that in my life. I guess that's part of the actor in me, is being able to somehow... Mm. Or sometimes, I guess, everybody does that. You, for some reason, connect to somebody that you think would be the least likely... Mm person too and I really connected strongly to her. I wrote it right after reading the play on a drive to Vermont and it was all foggy. Wow. And that's what she complains about in the beginning. It's so foggy out here. <laughs> and about how long ago did you write it? Th two, three years ago. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow, it's 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 like you're when when you're playing the song it's like it's part of you. <laughs> you know, it's like it comes out of your veins and all these. That's how, how close it is to you. Yeah, you it's, know, you know, it's a really fun song to sing, actually. Yeah. And I love it when I have the full band, too, because there's these three distinct parts to it. There's mm. the sort of bluesy part in the beginning and then a little bit more cabaret feel, and then it's just pure rock, mm. you know, and the band really brings each of those things out. Mm. And there's something that when there's a full band behind you, you can really rock mm. something. Belted you have out. all this energy behind you. Just what your voice can do is different, which you're... Mm. So I, I love singing those three parts. Yeah, and uh, I think if anybody wants to get a sense of what self-expression is all about, unabashed self-expression, <laughs> they should watch you sing the song because <laughs> it just comes out of you. You leave nothing behind. It's a great song.